I'm spooled, just so you know. Are you actually? I'm yeah, spooled. That one ran like 20 feet and this one's spooled? Oh. That's not a bad sign, buddy. Is he there? Yeah, fish on. That's a pike. Or no, that's a, that's a Walter. Oh, nice. Oh, baby. That's there a good is. one. Oh. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. So today, Nick and I are going to be doing some walleye fishing. We are currently walking down to the lake. Ooh. We are way up in northern Wisconsin. Nick's losing crap off of the sled behind me, so that's good. You got her, buddy? Got her. That's good. So guys, we're walking down to the lake. As you guys know, we have been on the grind. We've been fishing the last three days in a row. We finally got safe ice up here. One of our number one walleye go-to lakes has completely frozen over. So we're gonna walk out on the ice right now. Nick was already here, chiseled out a little bit, and we're walking on three inches of ice cracking a little bit we've got some snow on the ice as you can tell I don't know we got maybe half an inch of snow last night so the goal for today though is going to be catching some walleyes we're gonna go ahead uh, grab the rest of our gear here quick we're gonna start chiseling out some holes we're gonna get the tip ups into the water we got live bait with us tonight we're gonna be fishing with suckers so give us a few minutes stay tuned it won't be long the sun's gonna go down and we're gonna get hooked up let's do this believe it or not in this lake we like to fish in about two to three feet of water. Right off of the shoreline, there's a weed edge uh, pretty much around the entire lake. And these walleyes, we've noticed in the fall time and the springtime, relate to this shoreline, not just this shoreline, just any shoreline in the entire lake, in about that two to three feet of water, right on the weed edge. So, yeah, it might seem stupid, but here's the shoreline. Here's where our first hole is gonna be. We're gonna chisel it out. And I'm taking a guess right now that this is kind of where we're gonna be. Hopefully we're not right in the weeds. But that's where we like to catch our walleyes. As you can see, ice is crystal clear. Get that chunk. Oh, that water's cold. So that's what we're dealing with. What do you say that is? Two and a half? Two and a quarter, two and a half maybe. Something like that. It's pretty ice. solid, clear ice. If we uh, got this wet around, we got a walleye through this. You'd be able Guarantee to see it. we'll be able to see that. Yeah. And if I drop this down in here, that's how, that's how deep we are right here. A little oh, deeper. Boat. I might actually go in a little bit more. I might set it right next to that freaking tree. So we'll go a little bit more in, but this is pretty much what we're going to be working with and we're going to be setting six tip ups around the shoreline and hoping we can get some walleyes later tonight. We got our other hole now. This will be tip up spot number one basically I guess. About four and a half feet right up to here. This one. About a foot shallower. Both Somebody. hard bottom. I know the weeds are somewhere in there. You can see them a little bit those weeds that are back there that stick out through the ice a little bit. That's pretty much what comes out this far and that's what they sit on. So, gonna be setting our first tip up. Got the old Jolly Roger, I see. Jolly Roger, this is actually yours, so I'm setting it for you. Wow, you're such a nice guy. Make sure you got a depth finder. Probably the most important tool to have while you're ice fishing with tip ups. Drop that baby down. Oh, we're dealing with, that's cool, three feet of water. Okay, so I got bottom right here. I know that's where bottom is measure out for how far that's going to be in the water so now this is when you put it in this is actually where the bottom is so then for this lake i know it's a lot of hard bottom so we're only going to go four to six inches and i got a bobber put the old bobber on like so and now every time we get a flag and we pick this up every time we want to reset it we can just reel right up to the bobber and know that it's the correct depth every single time instead of having to reset it every single fish. So now we're done with that. Next step. God, we need a minnow scoop. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, get your hands really, oh, that's kind of a big minnow. That's all right. We're going giant on number one? Yeah. Trusty old Jolly Rogers catching a 10 pounder tonight. Hook the minnow. I like to hook it right there. Some people hook back here like Brandon, but I'm gonna hook them like that for now. Reel up to the bobber. I'm going to set it light, so I'm going to set it on this side. And just like that, we're good. Oh, actually one last step. 
tip-up light. It is going to be getting dark here soon. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Set that on there so when the tip-up goes up, got the light triggers so that way we can see it from the shoreline. So, number one is done. We got five more to set. And we got five more holes of chisel, so we're gonna keep going that way and finish setting them up. So we've got all six tip-ups in now. My buddy Sam came out to join us. This is Samuel, I work with him. So now we've got three more tip-ups to add to the night. We're gonna go ahead and get Sam's tip-ups in. Are you excited to be out here? Oh yeah, extremely. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> glad to be out here, you know? Walleye fishing, it just it just doesn't even seem real because it's like the first week of November. I but know. all right, let's go ahead. Let's get some tip-ups uh, yeah. in and get the bucket. catch some fish. All right, guys, here we go. First flag of the 2019 season. We're gonna let Sam take it. Ooh, it's on the old Jolly Roger tip-up. I like that. Here we go, baby. All right. Here we go. Oh, he's there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow, could you feel anything? No. no. So just that, that little guy was swimming. Minnow. That's the big minnow. Yeah, yeah that's expected. Well, no big deal. First flag. First flag, that's kind of a letdown, but there's gonna be more, I'm confident. So while we're walking over to this one, that one over there to the left of it just happened to go up. So I'm gonna take this first one, Brandon's gonna take that second one, and hopefully one of these has a fish on it. Oh God! This, this ice one was is... moving a little bit. Ugh. I don't know. Seems like it ran a decent amount of line. It's actually going right over towards yeah, that one. one. Yeah. Ooh. Well, double catch it. Yeah, it definitely pulled out a lot more than the other one did. But no, he's not there. Oh. oh. Number two. But look at how much line he ran. Holy cow! He. he took it and did not want to stop. Holy cow, look at this. Oh my gosh, dude, how did he? Wow. <laughs> well, he kind of went out to did the he take deep it? here a little bit. No, and he did not take the minnow. Oh with my running gosh. that much? Is he, is he pretty beat up? No, that guy's, he's kicking. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, you oh. see that? <laughs> oh, that crack was So good. we have this one set in like three feet of water and it must've ran. I don't know. 20 feet? 20 feet at least. I'd say. Well, we got another tip up here. So. We do have another tip up, so I'm going to reel this one up and then we're going to head on over there and see what we got there. Hopefully that one's got a fish on it. That one's mine, baby. <laughs> All right, well, no movement since we've been here, but I'm going to go ahead and attempt to take this. Okay, I'm spooled, just so you know. Are you happy? I'm yeah, spooled. Oh my God. Yeah. That one ran like 20 feet and this one's spooled? Oh. That's not a bad sign, buddy. Is he there? Yeah, fish on. Pull this way. Pull this way. You want to back up just a little bit? I'm going to come where you are. Yeah, because the line's way over there. Okay, guys. I don't know how this is possible. This did not take us that long to get to this tip can you up. Put, can you pull the line that way? It's stuck up on here. Yeah. That's why I wasn't moving. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid reason why it's not moving. <laughs> Because all the line's gone. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Wow. I can get him if it comes oh. down to oh. it. He's probably a quarter mile out that way when you <laughs> reel him in. Oh, oh. he's got to be close because now, now I see I see the bobber. Here we go. Bobber is through. Let's see if we see. I, I see it. Yep. He's right there. That's a pike. No, that's a, that's a Walter. Nice. Oh, baby. That's there a good is. one. Oh. Take a look at that. Beautiful gold color to him. Gosh, that's a gorgeous fish, and he choked it, dude. Absolutely gone. So we're gonna have to get the players on that one. Definitely gonna get some pictures rolling on this guy. Wow, guys, I can't believe it. It's truly happening. This is freaking awesome. It's a beautiful walleye. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab the players, get this guy unhooked. Yes, baby, let's go. All right, let's get a quick measurement. 23, get the nose closed. 23 and an eighth, just over 23. Wow, oh my gosh. All right, well, she's 23 inches, just over 23 and an eighth. She's gonna go ahead, crawl back in that water. Look at that. That is freaking gorgeous. That is awesome. It's exactly why we have that slot to keep walleyes like that perfectly healthy. That one goes back. 
Oh my God, guys. I'm like speechless. That is freaking awesome. That's not obviously like an absolute giant, but that's a beautiful Northern Wisconsin walleye. And uh, just crazy to think that it's November 8th and we are out here catching fish like that. That's spectacular. We're gonna stay out here, keep grinding. That's hopefully the first of many. I really, 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 truly hope that that's not our only fish, but we're gonna stay out here, keep grinding and see if we get some more flags. So everybody, that is gonna do it for us today. Sadly, we only got into that one walleye. As you can tell, hopefully you can see it. It's snowing, it's actually lightened up a little bit, but it was coming down. And then all of a sudden we started getting some heavy gusts of winds, which was not at all in the forecast, yeah. but it is what it is, that's the weather, so. We went hours without a flag, so that's the reason we're gonna end it. We caught a fish this early, which is incredible. And it was and a nice fish. Yeah, it was, it was pretty nice. Uh, we do expect to get bigger, but for the first walleye of the season, that is not too shabby. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you guys very much. If you guys enjoyed watching this video of us catching some beautiful fish, only one, but if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that good old thumbs up button for us. Give it a like. Uh, if you guys have any questions for us, make sure to leave something down in the comments for us if you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. We're gonna oh, be yeah. back on the grind. Posting tons of ice fishing videos. We expect to be just pounding them out, so. It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be a great year. It's off to a great start. So lots of content coming soon. We got challenge videos, we got pike fishing, walleye fishing, pan fishing, you name it. We got some giants coming, so stay tuned. Thanks again, everybody. Tight lines from NBN. Just kidding.